So on today's project, we'll be showing you how to make an app that connects to the Node MCU and it toggles the red LED that's on board of the Node MCU. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to Google and type in MIT App Inventor. And this is geared more towards uh, Android phones, but if you have an iPhone, you can just follow these simple instructions here. Basically just download another app which allows you to to view uh, MIT App Inventor in that environment, and it's after that, it's just all the all the other steps are the same. But um, assuming that you have an old Android phone or you have an Android, you just uh, follow the steps. Uh, the MIT App Inventors, you can use your email in order to log in and create an account, and then you just have all your projects just like I have them here. So then after that, you're just going to create a a new project. So let's do that. And this one, we're going to call it, um, I don't know, uh, let's see, we can call it uh, LED, uh, let's call it, actually, let's call it Wi-Fi LED. Wi-Fi LED, let's press OK. You cannot have any spaces, so it has to be with that underscore there. So then Wi-Fi LED should open. Alrighty, so now that we have here a blank screen, if this is your first time using uh, App Inventor, I'll go over a little bit. There's a lot better uh, tutorials on YouTube that you can find, but essentially you'll be greeted with this and it's just a blank screen here. And their, their whole thing is that you can just drag and drop whatever you need, right? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the layout tab and we're gonna drag a horizontal arrangement. And this would allow us to put uh, user interface things in it. And one thing that we're gonna need is a button. We're actually gonna need uh, two buttons, right? Because we wanna turn the LED on and off. And as you can see, it snaps into that same horizontal arrangement. So you can kind of drop it in there. And, and then after that, we're also going to need a label. So I want to show some instructions because you do have to connect to a, a hotspot uh, that's going to be generated by the ESP8266. So this label, all it's going to say is, and let's actually encapsulate it in one of those horizontal layouts. So you just drop it there and then you can just drag that in there. And what you do is you come on this side here and you can just say with fill parent, right? Press OK. And then you press on the label itself because that just made the horizontal arrangement uh, fit the whole entire phone, right? So now you press the label itself and you put with, you can put fill parent. And now that just fits the whole thing. So now you can actually center it and it'll center there. We can change that text to say uh, uh, something like connect to hot spot. So the first time you open this up, you're going to read connect to hot spot. So it's somewhat of a reminder of don't forget to to go ahead and set that up on your phone, right? And uh, we can actually uh, change these guys here. So let's also do a fill parent for the for the horizontal arrangement. And then on button one, <clears throat> we can do a fit uh, Actually, let's let's make the height a little bigger. So let's do a uh, fifty percent on the horizontal arrangement. Yeah, let's do like fifty percent of the screen. So, oh, look at that! I was clicking on the wrong one. It it, it doesn't matter because you can still fix it. So fifty percent of the screen. There you go. And now this other button will also have a height of uh, 50%. Now you can mess around with this. Uh, this is just so that it's nice and visible. And uh, <clears throat> now you see how they're all like squished on top of each other. This is because we haven't set the width. So you click on button one and you put fill parent and it's going to push this guy and button two fill parent and he's going to push back equally. So now they're both the same, the same width. And this is pretty much it. Uh, what you can do here is you can, you can name them. 
to say like uh, LED. So for example, let's say the LED on. So we want this one to be LED on. Spacing there, and this one can be for LED off. Right. And if to make it to make the programming easier, once we move over to the blocks, which is over here, I like to 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 name them to rename them. So LED on, right? And then rename LED. Off. And this makes it a lot easier when you're programming because if you have a bunch of buttons and they're all named button one through let's say 20, like you don't know what button 10 is doing. So I just get in the habit of naming them and, and just giving them their purpose. Like what are you using them for, right? So then now let's go over to the blocks and you basically switch over from the designer. So this is how it's going to look in the phone. It looks a little bit better than this. Like you don't get this side stuff or anything like that. But uh, overall, you can make it prettier later on. So we're just going to go over uh, the basics on this. So then you go to blocks. And here, this is what I was saying, that you can snap things on uh, to, to make it work. So initially, right, so you click on this and you get this view here. And you can uh, hold down control and scroll out. And you get all of these little uh, clip-ons that you can get, right? So when the when screen one initializes, you can just drag and drop. When screen one initializes, I want these two buttons to have a certain color just to basically indicate they're off, right? So for that, you can change the background color and you can also change the text, but the background color is stands out a little bit more. So then what I, so now you just control copy that and then it just snaps into place and then you change that to off and then we set the color. So I want both of them to be, to be red when the LED is off, right? So control copy that and paste there. All right. So initially when the screen comes on, they're both going to be, uh, have a background of red. Right. So now let's 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 go to their functionalities. So here, when I click LED on, right. So when I click that uh, left button LED on, I wanted to do something, right? <clears throat> oh, I forgot. We need to add some connectivity, which is the web connectivity, right? And this is is shown as an invisible component, so it doesn't show here. But it's just saying like, hey, you have access to the web through that connectivity. So then now we're going to go here and we're going to uh, call a function, which is call. Uh, here we go. Set web one URL, right? And the URL is very specific and Type this in. The URL is HTTP. So I'm going to type H. Let me move the mouse to the side. Let me actually scroll in so you guys can see it better. HTTP. And then basically, like if it were, if it were like a regular. Uh, uh, URL, but instead of that, it's an it's an address, right? So, one nine two point one six eight point four point one, and this is going to turn on the LED. So you put forward slash LED on question mark, <clears throat> and you have to type this exactly like this. If not, it won't work. So this is basically calling this. Uh, this uh, website, uh, which is hosted by the 8266, and it sends it this command. So then now, what you do is come over here to web again, and then you can have this function here, which is 
call web1.get and this will get a response from here. So if there's no response, you're going to get an error message on the app, right? Now we can control copy this whole thing, right? And the same thing is for LED off, right? So all you have to do is change here instead of on, you just change this to off and it has to be capital because that's how the, that's how the code in the Arduino has it. Now, to make it a little bit more interactive, we can actually change the colors, right? So I'm gonna move this outside for a second, or actually, let me just copy one at a time, right? Put this guy here and then copy it again, that guy there, and then you turn him, uh, LED on now it's going to be turned into green, right? Because green means on, at least for me, it does. <laughs> and then you just snap this guy in here and then you do the same thing for, for the other guy, right? So you uh, control paste, come over here, but it's going to be inverted, right? So here, when you press the button off, Green for me means that it's off, it's enable. So it's kind of, it might be kind of weird because you're saying, oh, wait a second, doesn't doesn't green mean off, uh, on? But for me, it's kind of like, that's the one that it's, that is being currently pressed. So if you're far away from the, if you're far away from the, from the, from the 8266, then you know exactly which one has been pressed last, right? And uh, it, this is just uh, some feedback. <clears throat> and there's actually a lot more that you can do with this, but this is just some, some visual feedback that you can get. All right, so then after this is done, make sure that this is correct, LED off. And the reason why I'm doing this is because even if this wasn't here, I like to make sure that LED off will be red when I press on and LED on will be red when I press off, right? And you can actually swap the direction of these just so that this guy turns green before this guy turns red, whatever. You can just have fun with it, right? Now, once that's it, this is this is the the whole the whole uh, code for the for the app. So once you're done, you just come over here to build, and you press Android App APK. Now this is going to generate a QR code that you can scan with your phone. And as long as you're connected to the same Wi-Fi as your laptop is, uh, you should have no problem uh, downloading it. I'll stop the video here because this takes about a few minutes. Uh, sometimes it moves quick, but uh, I'll stop it here and then resume once it's back at the, at the QR code. I have the QR code. All you have to do is just scan it and download it to your phone. And you can do this multiple times. Sometimes what I've noticed is it, it doesn't want to do it. So you just click this miss and build it again. And that way it's, it, there's, there's no, there's no limits on how many times you can do this. And at the end of the day, you can still have the option of just clicking this button and it'll download it to your computer. And then you can, that way you can put it manually into your phone.